happen is we are going to have the ushers. The Bank of Industries customers in the southeast region, as well as other small, micro and medium business owners in the area who are also looking to secure funding from the Bank of Industry are all here in this hall. It's the 2017 Customer Engagement Forum of the Bank of Industry in the southeast. BOI's customers in Enugu, Anambra and Environs, technical partners, representatives of government, commercial banks, the police, cooperative societies and other business stakeholders are all here. It's an open day. Lessons would be learned, not issues will be raised, complaints would be heard and new skills will be taught. At the end of the day, the Bank of Industry expects to take home vital information on customer expectation and needs and proffer solutions to meeting those needs. On the other hand, BOI wants to show its teaming customers more efficient ways of doing business. The day begins with a welcome and keynote address from the Bank of Industry's General Manager in charge of small and medium enterprises, South, Mr. Abdul Ghani Muhammad. The Bank of Industry's mandate is to catalyze industrialization and industrial dispersal around the country. And we have decided to have this customer fora to bring us very close to our customers, to create a platform for us to interface with our customers, know their pain points, know how we are serving them either well or badly so that we can improve our services to them. Because for us, the customer is king and we intend to, uh, to maintain that uh, posture. And our developmental mandate is governed by our core mandate, which in short we call spirit with a double P. S stands for service, P for professionalism, the other P for passion, I for integrity, R for resourcefulness, I for uh, innovation, and T for team spirit. So that, that's what governs our service delivery to our customers around the country. Now, at this critical period of the nation's economy, we know entrepreneurs, particularly in the industrial sector, are going through very hard times. What with uh, the exchange rates that suddenly jumped to about double of what it used to be in the past. In fact, we had our customers went through a very hard time because for projects that had been approved at an exchange rate of uh, 198, 199 naira to the dollar, we had to go back to the drawing board and reappraise at 350 naira to the dollar. But definitely not all of them could carry that weight, the weight of that uh, exchange rate uh, fluctuation. So we will try as much as possible to assist our customers go through these, uh, these hard times and ensure that industrialization thrives, particularly in this part of the country. That done, first the presentation of the day dwells on the challenges faced by MSMEs and way out, an empirical analysis of Southeast Nigeria MSMEs. It's presented by the MD and CEO, Renewal Consulting, Mr. Chike Nwebe. Making some biblical allusions, he says aside from political and economic instability, lack of knowledge, dismal strategic management, financial intelligence, and capacity of entrepreneurs in the region is a major challenge. MSMEs can only thrive if government does what? Supports SMEs. You can see what is going on in the agri sector now. True or false? Because government has moved their focus on what? agri You can see what is going on there. But take your mind back. MSMEs have held this economy to be on its footing, but it has not received complementary work, support. So that is why I listed it as the first. If government in the Southeast region can just provide needed support, needed what? Support or needful support, our SMEs 
will not be facing the kind of problem. The second point you have said is the worrisome low level of entrepreneurial mentality and knowledge about the roles of SMEs by the people that operate the bureaucracy of government. Um, I don't mean any harm to our very able public servants. But when it comes to knowing how to promote SMEs, I think a lot of room for improvement still exists. And because of this lack of focus on supporting SMEs, government have not been able to bring up the public servants to stay in a, a position where they will understand the important role of them as they need, and accord them that priority that they deserve. Those little things that matter that will make them work. It is very worrisome in Southeast. Uh, Abdul Ghani, I don't know how it is in the Southwest. Maybe you will tell us. But I know that here we are still having it as a major, major challenge. Maybe the SSA may have something to say about it. Our civil servants do not understand the importance of FSME. That is what I'm saying in simple terms. Representing Governor Willie Obiano, his senior special assistant on financial institutions, Mr. Ernest Nnaemeka talks about the government's existing and planned support for MSMEs. One of the things the government has done differently to support entrepreneurs is to create viable institutions, viable structures that will at least its administration. One, we know about ASBA. I believe they are here. Maybe they will talk much about their functions. One of the things they've done differently is to see how they can encourage cooperatives to build from the ground to the top. His Excellency, by his virtue of his training before he retired as a banker, knows what it takes and what banks can do to make things happen. I'm happy most commercial banks are here today. I heard the last speaker talk about people in the credit unit in most banks that they don't understand what they are supposed to do in terms of interpreting how most businesses can move to the next level. For me, he might be right in some areas. I believe it depends again on the leadership of the bank and the focus of the bank on what they want to do. Like in Anambra State today, agriculture is among our top priorities. Today we have an Anambra rise. People have been challenged to go back and farm. Even graduates, even those that are unemployed, have access to training being held at Mbako. It's a vocational school whereby even myself, I'm undergoing training on how to sew clothes. Like this apartment I'm wearing, I've learned how to sew.